Okay guys, I have another MRE review. Today I have menu 10 chili and macaroni um, packaged by the Warnick Company. There's no date code on this package, um, but the case that this came from was from 2010. So we'll see how this one held up. Um, it's got the peelable seal. So let's peel it open and see what we have. Side. Bag. Okay, looks like the first thing on top we have um, raisins. Um, accessory packet. Um, it does look like either the sugar or the salt actually opened up inside of there. So it's uh, sealed inside the accessory packet. This is accessory packet uh, C. Um, we have um, cornbread. And the day code on this cornbread is um, 74th day of 2010. Double check the day code on the raisins too. It's uh, 112th day of 2010. We'll put those two over here. Um, we got a package of um, tropical Skittles. Um, looks like it has a best before day of August 2011, but I'm sure that those are fine. Yeah. MRE spoon. Um, crackers. Regular crackers with a date code of 103rd day of 2010. Um, cheese spread with jalapenos. Beverage based uh, powder, lemonade flavored. Flameless ration heater with a hot beverage bag. And the main entree, which is uh, chili and macaroni. So here's everything laid out. And um, I guess we'll get to uh, heating up the entree, and then we'll open up some of these other packages. So we'll uh, take the flameless ration heater and open up the tear notch. Open up our entree. Let's get this inside of the ration here. Actually, before I do that, I do want to take a look at what's inside this accessory packet. Um, it looks like there was uh, salt in there, but it actually spilled out. There's no sugar because there's no coffee in this accessory pack, but there, it has um, apple cider, so we'll use the um, flameless ration heater to heat up the cider at the same time as uh, we heat our entree up, so we'll make that in the hot beverage bag first. So the uh, instructions for the spice cider say add a quarter canteen cup of water to the contents and stir, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding beverage powder. So we'll pour in a half a canteen cup into our hot beverage bag. Measure this out first. About a quarter canteen cup. beverage bag. Open up the spiced apple cider.
get some of the air out of the bag so that it'll fit in the flameless ration heater. That sealed up. And we'll get it inside. Along with our entree. side on our rock or something while it heats up. Okay. We'll take a look at some of the other things that are inside. Like I said, the salt um, all spilled out of the package. So we won't be able to use that. But we have uh, the toilet paper, the accessory pack. Um, ground red pepper seasoning for the macaroni. Moist towelette. And regular mint gum. Let's take a look at some of the other packages that are in here. We'll uh, open up the raisins. They're a little bit flat, but they smell fine. Pour those out on our plate. Kind of mushed together as one piece. Kind of surprised there's no um, oxygen absorber in there. Open up the cornbread. See if it'll get a little bit of a hiss. Small hiss. Take a look at that. Smells okay. Kind of flat. Get rid of that oxygen absorber. up the uh, crackers. Got a little bit of a hiss there when those open. These actually look like they might be all one piece. Before I ruin them. Oh, split in half. And they'll smell just fine for being uh, six years old. So then the other thing we have is the jalapeno cheese spread. So we'll check that out. Give it a little bit of knead. It's probably been sitting for a while. Well, it has been sitting for a while, six years. Give it a little knead and uh, open that up. Okay. It's a little bit lumpy, but it smells just fine. So try that too. So I guess next uh, we'll make our beverage based lemonade drink and um, sit 
ounces add to 20 fluid ounces of uh, water for a bottle, but I'm going to use a canteen cup. So it's a little bit more than half a canteen cup for that. It's actually a little bit hard, like it's solidified a little bit. So, let's see if we can get it inside the cup. Here we go, we'll split it right down the middle. Almost had the texture of like a stick of gum. So we'll have to see how that takes to the water. I'll give it a little stir and see if that'll dissolve a little bit. And we'll give that a couple minutes along with our entree. Okay, so it's a little bit later and I'm gonna take out the uh, entree. So this ration heater actually worked pretty well. The last one that I did from 2010 didn't work so well, and I even added the salt to it. And this one seems to work pretty well. It feels pretty hot. Yeah, it's, the entree is nice and hot, so pull that out. And we'll also pull out our uh, cider, which is pretty hot too. I brought a cup for the cider, pour that in. It smells really good. It smells like uh got some cinnamon flavor in there and apple cider. So we'll open up the uh, entree and plate it. Um, this has a tear notch right here on both sides. And it smells uh smells really good. There's definitely a lot, a lot of chunks of uh, beef in there. You definitely get a lot with this uh, MRE, which. I was surprised by the box is actually uh, pretty big. It seems bigger to me than most uh, MRE entrees. So that's a plus, I guess. So uh, as you can see too, the lemonade uh, dissolved pretty well. So we'll go around really quick and try some of this. I guess we'll start with the uh, raisins. And those taste just fine. Um, even for six years old. Yeah, they're nice and juicy, and they taste just as fresh as they would if you went to the supermarket and bought a package of raisins. Um, I've never had this jalapeno cheese spread before, and I've heard it's pretty good, so I'm a little excited to try that. So I'll try a little bit with the cracker. I know it's really good. That's nice. I like that. That's really good. I like that jalapeno cheese spread. It has a nice kick to it. We'll try a little bit of the cornbread. A little look there. I'm gonna try a taste. And that tastes completely fine too. It actually has a nice um, it has that nice grainy texture to it that um cornbread usually has like the homemade cornbread and that's pretty impressive that they got they kept that grainy texture to it even though it's been shelf stable for six years it's 
it's not bad at all. Still nice and moist. Um, no discoloration or anything. That's impressive that they can keep something uh, moist like that. You know, for six years in a package and it still tastes fine. I'm going to try some of the lemonade. And that's good. That tastes like uh, any, you know, country time lemonade mix you would make at home. So uh, that leaves us with the chili mac. Get a good little taste of that. And it is pretty good. The um, the entree was really hot when I took it out of the package. It could use a little bit more heat, um, but it's still it's not bad at all. You can definitely taste the um, tomato. And there's a nice chunks of meat in there, ground beef. And those taste completely fine. I do want to try um, adding a little bit of this um, brown red pepper. I was hoping there would be some Tabasco sauce in this one, just to add that extra little kick, but the ground red pepper I'm sure will, uh, will be pretty good with that. Oops. I'll splash that way. Give it a little mix. Boy, that's strong. I can smell it, and it's making my nose burn a little bit. I'm gonna try that out. And that's good. That adds that. That really puts it right on the edge there. It adds that little bit of a uh, kick to it. That's good. Try a little bit with the cornbread. And that's fantastic with the cornbread. The sweetness of the cornbread really offsets the uh, spiciness of the chili mac with the red pepper. While we're here, we might as well try um, a little bit of the uh, jalapeno cheese sauce on the chili mac. Give it a little mix. And that's awesome. That's definitely how I would eat this. With the ground red pepper and the um, the cheese spread on there. That's really good. Again with a little piece of cornbread. And that's really good. Take a little taste of the um, warm cider, and that's really good. It's not overly sweet. That would be really good on a uh, a cold day. Refreshing. Might as well um, open up these skittles. Right off the back, they look okay. Um, maybe just a little faded. Try those out. They smell fine. They taste absolutely fine. They are really soft. Look almost when you eat M&Ms and they're um, a little bit melted. They're really softer than what I'm used to. Tropical ones are really good too. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. So, that was uh, Menu 10 from 2010 um, Chili Mac. And uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.